Welcome to video 29 of series 3 and in this video I'm going to show you how to develop the game manager master script. Uh, so that's the very first script, it's the foundation, it's the basis upon which the whole game manager system works. Uh, so it's And it's really simple actually, so it's not complicated at all. But I do expect that you have completed the chapter 1 assignment to make sure that you are actually, I guess, uh, knowledgeable enough and competent enough for proceeding onwards. So there won't be much, I won't be explaining any basic things at all whatsoever. I'll be just going straight in and going forwards. All right, so uh, get ready and let's get going. Okay, so the first thing that you should do is to make a backup of your project. So you would shut Unity down. So shut Unity down, shut down uh, Visual Studio or Mono Develop, and then copy the folder paste it somewhere and keep a backup of it if you have a uh, like Google Drive or Dropbox or something like that then zip it and also upload it there so that you always have a copy of what you are working on now what I've done is I've just renamed the game scene to chapter 1 so that was the old uh, uh, game scene from chapter 1 I've just renamed it chapter 1 I've duplicated the scene and then I renamed it to GTGDS3 and deleted everything that I didn't need. So this is all that's left in there. A light, the floors, no scripts at all on the player, except for what comes with it. And the only thing that I left was the weapon camera itself. Otherwise, nothing else remains from Chapter 1. It's a, basically a clean scene. And uh, it is time for us to uh, move onwards. I'm going to make a new folder. And I'm going to call this um, a master scripts. So all master scripts, I'll create them inside this folder. And I'm going to make a new one. And I'm going to call this game manager master. Okay, and remember, you, you can't have a space. You must have like a connecting character, so like an underscore uh, between characters. So I'll just do that. And I'll make a game manager game object as well. Now I don't have to, but I just like to. I just like to reset the position, and I'll call this the Game Manager. Okay, and I'll just drop it in. It's the first script, and I'll go ahead and open it up. I think I'll use a different namespace as well. I'll probably just call the namespace S3, uh, something really, really short. So I'll just do that, namespace S3. Okay and just cut this, put it in there, right. I'll write my uh, delegate first, so public delegate void a game manager event handler is what I'll call it. And then I'm going to have a whole bunch of events like you saw in that PowerPoint slide, uh, and I'll write each one out and each one will be using uh, this delegate. So I'll have here public, um, let's see, event, it'll be of the game, of the type game manager event handler, and I'll call this a menu toggle event. All right, let's keep going. I'll, maybe I'll just copy this a couple of times to make it easy. This will be the inventory UI toggle event. Uh, I think this one can be the restart level event. I'll also need a go to menu scene event and a, a game over event. I also need some flags, so I need some booleans as well. First of all, I'll have public bool. Oops, not that. Public bool is, um, I guess, maybe game over, perhaps, like that. I also need to check, like, if the inventory UI is on, or the main, or the menu see, uh, or the menu UI is on. So I'll do it here public bool is inventory UI on. You'll see how these all get used in a bit uh, in the next couple of videos. And a uh, public bool is menu on. 
Okay, so those are my flags done. And these will be checked by other scripts that will be referencing the master script. So the way my system works is I avoid having the scripts talking to each other. I just have them talk to the master. And then on the master, an event gets called. And then stuff then happens, propagates across on the uh, other scripts. And they just look at the master for finding important information, like, uh, for example, the state of these flags. All right, so now I need to make my call event methods, and I don't need to start an update. So I'm going to write here public. It needs to be public because the other scripts will access this script. Public void a call event, uh, for example, menu toggle. If menu toggle event is not equal to null, so remember when you are going to call an event, you first have to check that there's something actually subscribed to it. If there's nothing subscribed to it, don't call it. Otherwise, you'll get errors. Okay, so in that case, then uh, the menu toggle event will happen. All right, continuing onwards, I'll need one for each of these public void call inventory UI toggle. Then I'll say here if inventory UI toggle event is not equal to null, then in that case call it inventory UI toggle event. And how about I just copy these just to because the structure is more or less the same. Just copy it, paste it a couple of times. All right. And I'll just change the names for each one. So this one will be call event restart level. So call. Uh, oh, sorry. And I should have said here call event inventory toggle. Uh, makes more sense. Call event inventory toggle. I'll call this one call event restart level. And this is a restart level event. If that's not equal to null, then run it restart level event. Make that action that event. The next one is go to menu scene event. So call uh, event menu scene or call menu scene event. And here, here as well, event, call event, menu scene. Okay. Oh, whoops, what am I doing? So let me put that in as event, menu scene. Or what did I call it? So one moment, let me just check here. I said go to menu scene event. That's right. So go to menu scene event. So I should say call event, go to menu scene. That's better. And here, go to menu scene event, done. And then last of all, uh, this one is a little different, uh, the uh, game over one. So I'll call this call event game over. And then if uh, the game over event is not equal to null, then I will also set the flag is game over is equal to true. You'll see its application later on, not right now. And then finally call the game over event. OK, and save that. And that's it. So that's the game manager master done. It's just waiting to get used. And if I go back to Unity, uh, let's have a look. Oh, I didn't convert the line endings. Uh, so that's my mistake. I should do that. All right, done. And that's pretty much it. OK, so that's it for this video. Nothing exciting looking. And it won't be. So this is how a system is built. At least I've got my structure there. Now I have to build each of the machines, like the components uh, that will build, make this, turn this into a system, a functioning system. So that's what we're doing. We're just making pieces. We're just making parts. We're making components. And then in the end, they'll all come together and behave in a way that we want it to.